Hi, this is Rachel. In science, you will often be using symbols, particularly in writing equations. This video will show you how to access some of the most common arrow symbols you will be using in Microsoft Word. So first of all, open up Word, like I have here. As you can see, or might be able to see, I have a Mac, so I have Word for Mac. But the principle is the same for Windows. Everything should be in roughly similar menus. So we're going to look at arrows for chemical equations. So let's take a balanced basic combustion equation. So we'll have something that might look like that. So it's already balanced. So I've got CH4 plus 2O2 gives CO2 and 2H2O. So firstly, you can see that I don't have an arrow between the two halves of my equation. So in order to add an arrow, there are actually a couple of ways of doing it. My favourite way is really, really simple. So I just position my cursor where I want the arrow, I type two dashes, and then a greater than symbol, like that. So you can see that it automatically changes into an arrow. So this is what I'm typing, two dashes, and a greater than symbol. Now technically, this arrow is a bit bold to be used in chemical equations. So if I delete this arrow, there we go, I can actually find a nicer arrow to use. So I can do this by going up to the top of my Mac, and this is Mac specific, unfortunately, but I can go up to the top and there is a flag up here that indicates my language. So this is called the keyboard input button. And if you don't have it, you can enable it. So you do this, let me just show you how to do this. You go to system preferences. So if I open that up and you go to keyboard and the input sources tab and check the box at the bottom that says show input menu and menu bar. So if I untick it, you can see that my flag at the top disappears, but when I tick it, my flag reappears. So that's how you get that flag there. Okay, close system preferences. So once you've done that, click on the flag and you'll see there's some options. So click show emoji and symbols and that will bring up a really comprehensive set of symbols. There are loads here. So you can see there's actually an arrow section. So I go to there and you just choose your arrow. So my cursor is positioned in the place I want it in my Word document and then I can just double click on my arrow that I want and it inputs it into the Word document. And we have a much nicer arrow in that Word document now. So this is actually where you go to find a number of different types of arrow. So we have sometimes reversible reactions and we can find those reversible reaction arrows in this menu as well. So you can see that the arrows menu is divided up into rightwards arrows, leftwards arrows, upwards arrows, downwards arrows, the very um, succinctly named leftwards, rightwards arrows, upwards, downwards arrows and miscellaneous arrows. So what I want is the leftwards, rightwards arrows and my reversible reaction arrow let me just move that one, is this one here. So again, I'm going to double click it. So it's the rightwards harpoon over leftwards harpoon. They're very good at naming things. Okay, so now I have, let me just make this big again. There we go. Now I have my equation. So all I have to do now is input my subscripts and superscripts. So I did my last video on this, so if you don't know how to do this, go have a look. But I'm going to make all the numbers that should be subscripted subscripts. 
And now I have my chemical equation with subscripts and an arrow. And that's how we add arrows to chemical equations in Word.